All right, guys, got another nice walkthrough for you. Today we're looking at a 2006 Beaver Marquee Ruby 4 model. This is a quad slide, just under 42 foot overall tag axle diesel pusher. This guy's rocking the 525 horsepower cab motor. I think it's about 1860 foot pounds of torque, if I'm not mistaken. Don't quote me on that, I'm sure I'm off by a couple. But it is beautiful. So we're gonna jump, th run through the outside really quick and then we'll go jump inside. Now this coach was a single owner coach his whole life, part of that beaver club out there. And this guy, he kept it in great condition. I mean, you can see the exterior here for 14 years old. Doesn't look like it saw too much sun. I think it's got about 54,000 miles on it. Of course, you got your big 22.5 tire tires, with the stainless steel rims. 120 to 150 gallon tank. I want to say it's 150. You can see it goes all the way through, and then you can see your big old propane tank right here. You do have fuel fill on both sides, and you got your nice pass-through storages on both sides right here, also, with of course your slide-out trays. storing stuff quite a bit easier and then right here you got behind the panel you got your aqua hot system get that instant hot water hard to see and a couple of the dumps right here manual on this side like I said tag axle so single tires in the back doubles right there all bridge stones the batteries on this my gosh you got four right there. You got one, two deep cycles right there. And then four more right there. So definitely got quite a bit of battery power. All right, and then this is not a rear radiator. It is a side radiator. And look at this beautiful entry door. You can see that big old cat block right there. You know, I mean, it hasn't really been written that much. All your base coat color's still on there. I mean, it's kind of warm, but here's some of the specs on the motor if you want it. I'm gonna shut all this so we can take a peek when she's all closed up also. Hard to do with one hand, my gosh. You can see you got slide toppers with metal covers for every slide. No rear compartments here because of the tag and of course your side radiator. Now your hitch, I don't know why I didn't mention the hitch. Got a big old hitch back here. And as you can see, 10,000 pound towing capacity with a nice seven pin connector and it does have the olden style connector too if you need. Now, here's kind of your dump station, winterization, all that good stuff. Power cord, power cord is on a reel, beautiful. You got kind of some of all your lines right there, water filters, and a hose that is also on a reel. So very nice. And then right here we got the other side of those pass-through storages with lights inside. And I love how this has a kind of that Greyhound bus lifting door. They didn't do that for all of them because of the slides, but it is a great little feature. But you do have side latches on just about everything else. And here's the other side of that propane and that fuel fill. And then of course, all your electronics and the generator slide in and out. You can see kind of, I'm moving in with the push of a button, which is nice. Now the gen set, I got it running right now, 12.5. 554 hours, not bad at all. I called Cummins one day to figure out what the average life of a gin is. They say with good service, it should go up to about 10,000 hours. She's got plenty of life left in her. So let me shut this. Now it's kind of windy out here. You can probably hear it in the video. So I didn't put the main awning out. I don't want it to break or get ripped or anything. But you can see you got electric window awnings here. A little bit more solid. So I decided to put these out to kind of show you. You got two of them, one on this side, one on the other side. And then of course your main awning. And a door awning. 
Here's a quick look at the coach with all your compartment doors shut. That's on the Roadmaster chassis. Should have quite a good amount of airbags, even more so than your Freightliner. Give you that beautiful ride. Here's a first look at the interior. There's quite a bit to go over in here. So we'll take her one step at a time. All right. There we go. Show you the miles here. 54050.3. So very nice there. We'll shut that off so we don't get the beeping all the time. Now, you do have hydraulic and electronic leveling jacks, separate ones, in case one works better for you where you're at. And then all types of, let's see if I can give you a good look. Visors, air dump, you can, I love this, rear camera wash if it's a little dusty, mirror heat, your Allison electronic shifter, your onboard computer, little CB down there. And it's got the uh, smart cruise control too, so you can set a distance between the vehicle you're next to, or in, behind I should say. And then of course your driver's side shade, and then your passenger shade is all electronic. Comes down with the push of a button. We'll stop there so you can still see. They do not come down all the way, but you do actually have on your beautiful little kind of control panels here, privacy curtain. So you can see with the push of a button, that will wrap all the way around. I love that privacy curtain. And we won't shut it all the way, it'll get really dark in here, but another great little feature this coach has, your TV lift. So with the push of a button, your TV will come down and be revealed out from the ceiling. And let me tell you, that sharp TV back in 06, that was a pretty penny. Let's put that back up. See your inverter control there, control for the King Dome, the satellite system. Get out of the way really quick. That's for the awning. And then you got a couple of these storage compartments right here. I'm not going to go through everything. It'll take forever. You see that beautiful beaver woodworking throughout the whole thing. I don't know how many CDs you still have, but you can put a lot in there. And then on the other side, you got your kind of Bose surround sound system. The beautiful Hot 5 stereo VHS player and a DirecTV box. Now your seats, I love these seats. They look, they're a little intimidating at first, honestly. There's so much going on, but you, know, you can go forward, back, angle it up, angle it down. That is going to be, as you can see, the backrest slowly going down. And then, this is a headrest. We'll lift that up if you're a little bit of a taller guy, me. I probably have to put it down negative, being only 5'9". And then you also got lumbar support. And then, check that out move that cushion forward and back too in case you got those long legs once again not a problem for me only difference with the passenger side you got a leg rest that comes out push up a button and all the other controls that the other one does this one does actually or they both do actually have heat too which is crazy but phenomenal do you have a step that comes out with the push up a button right there put that back don't need it and here we go so this coach, like I said, quad slide. You got one side here for the couch and the kitchen, one side over here for the dinette and the little desk area. We did have to replace the chair. The original one did not come with it, so that's one thing. But you got quite a bit of drawers in here. Lots of storage just for the little desk area. You can see kind of down there, you got power and hookups for a computer. All your lights, you can put the TV up and down here. You can close all your shades and you got your light controls. And that you'll see throughout the whole coach. Little controls all over the place, literally everywhere. I can't tell you how long it took me just to learn some of the buttons in here. Couch does turn into a bed. Now these are usually meant for two people, but hey, in case you come with somebody. Nice Corian tops and they do have the lip. I love the lip. Just prevent, help stuff from preventing from falling off. I do want to say that these were replaced because they are a slightly different color, but damn, they are close. <laughs> and they're heavy. You use those as additional counter space if you even need it. Then of course, you, 
This does have the aqua hot system, so you got instant hot water, soap, water filter. This does pull out, of course. Nice little bar area. Put some nice crystal in there. Now this storage up above, let me show you this one. It is kind of a pass-through storage, so it goes all the way through for all three of those. And let me show you these cool shades. So you can see Roman shades, and then you got your regular shades. So you can close just the regular shade. You'll see that here in a second. All electric. We'll get that down all the way. You can do the same exact thing with your Roman or vice versa. You can have some open, some closed. Really, you know, up to you. This coach, you can literally black out absolutely everything in here. Dinette, two-person seater. There is a couple chairs in the back closet, and you can you can kind of see you can extend that a little bit, make it a little bit bigger. You do have a couple storage compartments down here, all about the same size, nothing too crazy big. You can see how deep they are. Power hookups there. And then one thing, all your sh windows in the slide, these guys right here are manual windows. So you just push them up, pull them down. But the main ones right here, you can see are electric. I'll show you in a second. You can see that beautiful window on and giving you plenty of shade. I don't know what you'd put in here, but it's a cool little compartment. Big mirror, don't look at me. All right, so continuing on in the kitchen here. Convection microwave, no oven. You do have the nice residential size convection. That beautiful backsplash. It's not just a sticker. It's actually Corian and tile built into that. And then some of your storage down below. I see an area for all those Corian tops. And you see Right here, you can run the Aqua Hot off of diesel or propane, which is beautiful. So depending on how you're using it, you can use it, you know, off the beaten path or when you're just plugged in. Now this is two AC units. They should both be 15,000 BTU units. I love this. Learn how to cook in a convection. Another little storage right here and that panel behind is to get to some of the wiring for the slide and then finally in the kitchen one of these tops you got that two burner gas stove, well, two burner gas stove top like I said these are pretty heavy I'm trying to maneuver them with one hand can't be quite the feet one day I will get this there we go my gosh Sorry about the weight. Now your fridge is honestly one of my favorite features. It's got the raised panel fridge with the same wood detailing that you get throughout the whole beaver coach, which is, let me tell you, it's a step above the rest. You get water and ice in the door, and there's a side-by-side -side here. So quite a good amount of room. It's actually cold, interesting. See your ice there. Those do pull out right there. Little bit of storage right above. I can't see that because I'm so short. And then you got two different ways to get into this here. Sliding pantry. Got that way just for quick access. You can actually get it here and pull it out. Beautiful. Lots of food storage. All right, making our way back to the bathroom. Now your bathroom, same tile floor throughout. Here's your vanity. That same kind of Corian top and backsplash. Medicine cabinet. And then down below, we got some storage. Takes you a little bit to get used to some of the pushes. These are just poles, but right here, you can kind of see it's one of those. Shower. Once again, not just, you know, your regular fiber class. Very, very similar to what you see throughout this whole coach. And absolutely beautiful. 
right behind me, we're gonna have your bathroom. So let's see. Once again, another medicine cabinet here. Very similar drawers that you get in the other side of the bathroom with the other sink and storage. And then on the other side, got your breaker box and a little bit of storage down below. I don't know if you noticed, but the depth is perfect for toilet paper. And of course, above us, we got ourselves a nice, fantastic fan there and a fantastic fan there. All right, now I'm making our way back over. Another little storage right before we get into the bedroom here. Now, more convection microwave stuff. So lots of storage, that's for sure. And trust me, it gets even more and more once we get into the bedroom. So the bedroom queen bed, also on a slide on the right and a slide to the left right here. Now you do have, of course, can't completely shut out and give yourself a little bit of privacy here. So you got, it's very interesting, you got double doors. You got one on the left, one on the right. I opened one so you can see it, but they kind of meet in the middle and lock. And then when you shut them, you can kind of lock them in place. There we go. All right, so we'll start over here in this slide. Nice sharp TV with the Bose sound system down below like you kind of had up front. And then you got six drawers. I'll open a top one and a bottom one for you. Nice and deep, nice and deep. Let me tell you, socks, underwear for months at a time. And once again, you do still have the same style of shades throughout. It's actually your awning control right there. And you can see your kind of shades open and close. There's that nice shade outside. Now, let's see, I think that's just an access point. But right here you do have your splendid combo washer dryer unit. And then some storage right above. One thing I also love about these things is it's got this nice beautiful detailing on the ceiling which hard to see but you do have some LED strips up there. Very cool. Like I said, queen bed. Looks like a residential size. Don't quote me on that once again, I'm honestly not positive. And then down below, nut storage, just the mechanism for the slide. That's why it's so hard to open. Now your closet, you can see that sensor right there, it makes the light turn on. Beautiful closet. I love how it goes a little bit deeper right here to give you some shoe storage. See those two chairs for the dinette and the leaf for the dinette. Another access point for the motor. And here we go. Couple of the weights, 48,160 fully loaded. It's heavy. That's why you got a 525 to push her. All right, and then right behind this panel, I know, something most people won't be dealing with too much, but all your wiring nice and neat, all in one area. Now your bed, small side tables, but you still got them. You can see you start your gen, you got a reading light here you can turn on, you can turn off all the lights right here if you wanted. A lot of, lot of control, very cool. And then on the other side, pretty similar, except got power outlets and you got the Aladdin control right there. And once again, you can control both ACs from this one. The front thermostat is actually only gonna be the front AC. I'm sure I missed a couple things, but I, had to get you guys a look at this absolutely beautiful coach. It's not too often I get these things in here, so whenever I do, I gotta shoot a video of them. Thank you so much for viewing. I'm gonna get one more look on the outside here so you can get a good peek. Two thousand six Beaver Marquee Ruby Four Tag Axle Quad Slide. 525 horsepower motor, 1860 foot pounds of torque, aqua hot, and literally electric everything. All right, guys, stay safe out there. Wash your hands. Have a great day.